two dates, correct? Is that January 11th and January 28th? Yes. Permission to approach? You may. I'm going to show you what's been, in, what's been marked as state's exhibit 378, Yankee Charlie 1. Does that date say February 20th, 2015? Yes. Now I'm going to show you 378, Yankee Delta 1. Does this say February 21st, 2015? Yes. And I'm going to show you 378 Yankee Echo 1. Does this say June 10th, 2015? Yes. Okay. Looking at 378 Yankee Charlie, Yankee Delta, Yankee Echo, do you see yourself in those three pictures? Yes. Okay. You're right. This time to say like the 10 to 378 Yankee Charlie 1, Yankee Delta, 378 Yankee Delta 1, and 378. Yankee Echo 1 is the evidence. Objection. Admitted without objection. Now looking at these five, on January 11th, were you in handcuffs when you went to go speak with the detectives? Mm hmm On January 11th, when you walked you in. said January 11th? Yes. Oh, okay. Were what? you in handcuffs? No, nah, I'm, I'm like this. Okay. Looking at January 28th, were you in handcuffs when you went to go speak with the detectives? No, I'm like this. All right. On February 20th, were you in handcuffs when you and Deshaun went to go speak with the detectives? No, I'm like this. Okay. And were you only arrested on February 21st when you went to speak with the detectives because you're in a blue jumpsuit, correct? Yes. And on June 10th, you were arrested because that's when they arrested you in the house, correct? You said what now? June 10th is when they arrested you at your home, correct? To my, with my with the white shirt on? Yes. Oh, my hands up on the table. I, I don't know. But do you recall June 10th being the day that they came to your house and arrested you? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? You said, mm -hmm. I just need to know, is that a yes for the record? Oh, oh. I think so. Okay. Is that the day that you started, you went to jail and you didn't get out till five years later? I started with. On June 10th. Did you get arrested on June 10th? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So out of all five interviews, you were only arrested two times. Is that correct? Um, I guess. All right. So each of the other times besides February 21st and June 10th, you walked freely in and out of the Atlanta Police Department. Is that correct? Wait a minute. What you mean by that? I'm sure I'll repeat it. Would you agree that in early 2015, you went to the police, you talked to the police five times? No, Based more. more. Do you have five interviews right there? Yeah, but they had me in the back of their police cars, too. Okay. How many times were you, how many times did you go to the Atlanta Police Department? On my own? In 2015. We're going to talk about just generally 2015. I don't know. I can't, I don't recall. All right. Do you see five different times on, in front of you? I got five papers in front of me. Okay. And would you agree they're all different dates? Yeah, they all got different dates. All right. And three of those five, you are not in handcuffs. Is that correct? Yeah, three of them are not in handcuffs. And only two of them you are in cuffs or you knew that you were arrested that day. God bless you. I guess. All right. The two times that you were arrested is February 21st. Is that what you have on the blue jumpsuit? Okay, right there. And June 10th when they arrested you at the house. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that a yes for the record? Yes. All right. So the other three times, January 11th, you came into the Atlanta Police Department on your own, correct? He called me down there. Okay. And you voluntarily went down there after he called you, correct? Mm. After you spoke with... He took, he took my baby mama down there and told, told me I need to be down there. And you decided to go, correct? Mm, yeah. Okay. And after you interviewed with him, you walked out, 
correct? And you left. You're shaking your head for yes, me? Yes, right. yes, yes. I left. Now, on January 28th, you also walked into the police department, correct? I don't know nothing about that. I don't, I don't remember that at all. Okay. But is the safe to say that you left because you were not arrested in January of 2015? Yeah, I went locked up in January. Okay. And then February of 2015, that's when you walked into the police department with you and Deshaun, correct? I think. And do you remember that being the night or the early morning hours after people shot at you, Deshaun, and your baby? He was fit to put me in handcuffs. But did he put you in handcuffs? Because the, the other police told, I, think, I don't know if it was that one right there, but one of the police told him, he whispered something to him. Kai told him, you going to lock me up, and they go ahead and get out of the way. And they decided not to lock you up, correct? Because he wanted the gun. But he did not lock you up, correct? The next day he did. Answer this question. On February 20th, did he lock you up? He told me I got 24 hours to get him the gun. Okay. And you were able to leave that interview room to go find the gun, correct? For next day. You were able to leave, correct? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes for the record? Oh, yes. All right. So when you keep saying they only want to keep locking you up, you only were locked up two times. Well, well, well. No. Okay. Do you recall today you said you spoke with police in the back of police cars? Do you recall how many times you did that back in 2015? I don't know how many times. When you were inside the back of the police cars, did they release you or did they take you to jail? They released me. Okay. So again, even those times you were not locked up. Kyle finesse him again. All right. Now, going back to what I asked you about, you your belief that you thought Thug thought you were snitching. Do you recall telling the police that every time you spoke to the police, excuse me, let me strike that, that there were times when the police would call you and you were in Thug's presence. So that's so, and you were you were with the when the police would call you. What you mean? You got to be more specific. Sure. In January of 2015, when you were when police were calling you about Donovan Thomas's murder, after after he was killed, I wasn't around though that much for him to be able to see me answer the phone or talk to any police or anything. What you talking about? Do you did you tell the police when they were asking you about Thug thinking you were snitching? You told the police because like every time he called, it's like I was right there in front of him and I had walked up. I was like that was the detective. Like shit, they trying to find out who, and he just felt like I was just making making stuff up because I always stutter. So when you snitching, snitching is based off the truth and off facts. Lying and, and trying to finish your ways is different things. So there wasn't never the case with, there would never be the case if he concerned about me snitching up. So you only snitching if you telling the police the truth. And back in 2015, were you, when they were calling you and they were asking you about Nut's murder, were you telling them that you were not involved in that murder? I was telling them everybody. I told them everybody did. I told them Shell Kill killed them. I told them all type of people did. I didn't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Y'all just pick and choose what y'all want to take and, and, and use. Did I not say Shell Kill did it? Did you tell them that you heard it? That could have been a rumor. I told you it was a rumor that they said I did too, right? Right. And you didn't kill him, correct? How many times are you going to ask me that? Okay, then. So 
If you're talking about rumors, the rumors aren't true. You just told them what you heard. I'm saying, what y'all want to pick and choose with. Okay, I don't recall. And do you recall, because you keep saying that you wanted to finesse the detectives. Is that fair? Do you recall them asking you about an event, a shooting on Spring Street with um, Doug's girlfriend was having a party at a house or a par at a hotel on Spring Street? I never heard anything about that a day in my life. Okay. And do you remember telling them that you knew nothing about those shooting on Spring Street? I guess I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I don't told the investigators. So if you want to finesse them, why wouldn't you just act like you knew about it and just tell them about it? Because I, I didn't hear nothing about it. If I would have heard something from like the street saying, uh, I could have been able to you know, act like I was there or act like I knew, but I couldn't because I never heard anything about it. Right. But if you're trying to finesse them and you just tell them whatever they wanted to hear, right. you could have just told them, yeah, I heard about it. So I couldn't because I wouldn't be able to speak on nothing where it'd be like, okay, like let's say they would say two girls got shot in the butt. I wouldn't be like, uh, yeah, I would tell man, the two girls got shot in the butt, uh, you know, I couldn't because I never heard nothing about the story at all to be able to say, but uh, if, act as if I knew. But if you're finessing the police, that means you're just lying anyway, right? So to finesse the police, you got to act like you have knowledge. You got to act like you know. Okay. So if you could have just said, yeah, I heard about that shooting. And I couldn't because he, I knew his next question was going to be who did it or what happened or where was it. Or, I couldn't say anything about what, I couldn't say anything about nothing. Okay. So why would I speak on something and get caught up? I'm not trying to get caught up in my life. In the same interview, did you also tell Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that on the Friday before Donovan Thomas was killed, that you went to DJ Drama Studio as well? I, I, if, I, if I told the detective something like that, I, I probably did. I don't okay. And that's something that you also told Investigator Thorpe when he interviewed you. Well, I hadn't heard the question yet. The, you also told Detective Thorpe about going to DJ Drama Studio that Friday before Nut was killed as well, correct? She, I, I'm, I, I'm, I recall. Okay. So is it fair to say you told, first you told Detective Thorpe about going to DJ Drama Studio, then you also told Detective Gaither and Dennis at a later interview about the same series of events leading up to Donovan Thompson's murder. Can you say that again? I'm going to give her a little latitude. I think she's trying to get clear what the witness's testimony is. Thank you. When you first met with Detective Thorpe in January 11th, you told him about going to DJ Drama Studio the night before Donovan Thomas was killed, correct? I don't recall. Okay. You also now, in this January 28th interview, you've now told Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis also about this going to DJ Drama's studio the Friday night before Donovan Thomas was killed, correct? I probably did. I don't remember what. I don't know. During this same January 28th interview, did you tell Detective Gaith and Detective Dennis that you actually um, owned a chopper, a, a gun, a chopper? So it's, it's no point in me trying to protect him no more because he did. But... I 
Huh? You were making a comment about someone being deceased and passed away. What you were saying? Just go ahead and re ask your question. Yeah, my question was in this same interview with Detective Gates and Detective Dennis, did you tell them that back in January 2015 that you, um, when they asked, they asked you what type of gun you had and you told them that you had a chopper? Say, can you say that again? Sure. In this same January interview where you're meeting with Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis, they asked you what type of gun you had. Do you, rec do you recall telling them that you had a chopper? No, I don't recall what I just said to them. Okay. And that that's chopper is a chopper that was purchased by Quindarius Zachary or Little D from Cleveland. I don't recall. Now, I think I just heard you say that someone has, is dead and you don't need to protect them anymore. Who were you referencing? Tay Threat. Okay. Is that the young man who passed away a few weeks ago? Yes. Okay. What would you be protecting him from? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. And let me ask you this. Back in 2015... Were you friends with Tay back in 2015? Yes. Okay. And one, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Um, in 2015, was Tay shot at by if gang members while he was sitting in his vehicle back in 2015? I suppose no. Okay. Do you recall talking to Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis about him being shot at in his car? Like, if I see it, I don't recall. Okay. And, and is this running Travante Turner? You're shaking your head. Is that a yes, yes for the record? Yes. Back in 2015, did Travante Turner consider himself a part of YSF? No. Do you recall Detective Gage and Detective Dennis talking about the fact that he was shot up by If Gang in the midst of the beef between YSL and If Gang? All right. <sighs> Threat had beef with Rich Homie Corn. I don't know what they beef was about, but Threat had beef with Rich Homie Corn and he was on his ass. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Who was on who's behind? Dredd was on Rich Homie. Okay. And uh, yeah, Dredd, Dredd was on Rich Homie, and Dredd got into it with Nut Now. That's it. And at the time, was Rich Homie Quan claiming affiliation with If Gang? Huh? Let me ask this first. Are you talking about Rich Homie Quan and Threat? Was this back in 2015? Back in 2015. What you mean? What you were just telling me. No, it was 2014. I think it was one of them years. And at the time... Was Rich Homie Quan claiming affiliation with If Gang? I don't know what Rich Homie was claiming. And you said that Threat got into it with Nut in them. I I don't know I don't know how it went, but I know that yeah Threat liked it. Okay, is that what started the beef between YSL and If Gang? Threat wasn't YSL, like you know what I mean, like. People, YSL is not what y'all making it be. Like, I keep telling y'all that uh, a person to wake up and say, Atlanta is a monkey see, monkey do city. Like, you see people doing something, you just do it. 
I mean, and people say, just because I know this person, oh, yeah, I say, oh, I take a picture and say on YSL or whatever, but that was MDC. You know what I mean? There wasn't no, there wasn't no, no YSL or that, that shit. Did he ever stop claiming MDC and claim the YSL? Nah, we, 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 don't, we don't switch up. That, that's just what it is. And you said he claimed MDC. What's MDC? I don't know. Okay, but if you said he claimed it, do you not know what MDC stands for? It's none of my business. Okay. So when you say he's claiming MDC, what do you mean? When you say he's claiming MDC, what do you mean? I don't ask questions. That's what I mean. Okay. Is MDC a music group? Ask them. I'm asking you. I think they got rappers. I don't know. Okay. Are they a music group? Huh? Are, were they, are they a music group? Sustain. Does MDC, does MDC stand for most dangerous click? Ask them. I'm asking I'm you. I'm from Canada. Okay. But you said he claims MDC, so I'm asking you, does it stand for most dangerous click? If I say yeah, and if it ain't what it stands for, you're going to say I'm lying. So I don't know what it stands for. Okay. <clears throat> Do you recall telling Detective Gaith and Detective Dennis about members of MDC beating up Little D from Mechanicsville in the club? In Club Crucial? I don't recall. Probably so. I ain't no ten. Do you know if MD, members of MDC beat up Demikian or Little D from Mechanicsville in Club Crucial? They did. I was laughing too. And MDC, are they from Bowen Homes? No, that's me. That's them. Did you tell Detective Gaither and Dennis in an interview that you were cool with MDC dudes because you grew up in Bowen Homes and they from Bowen Homes? I'm from Canterbury. But that you spent some time, did you spend time in Bowen Homes? I don't recall. Okay. You don't recall living in Bowen Homes before moving to Mechanicsville? Oh, I stayed in Bowen Homes. Okay. And did you tell Detective Gaither and Dennis that you stayed in Bowen Homes prior to moving to Mechanicsville? I don't know if I told them that. And that because you did stay in Bowen Homes, you were cool with a lot of the dudes in MDC. Do you recall telling Detective Gaith and Detective Dennis that? I don't recall. Okay. What does it mean to claim a click? You said he claimed MDC. What does that mean to claim to claim a click or claim MDC? What does that mean? What you mean? You said it, so I'm asking, what did you mean? You said he claimed MDC. What does that mean? Ask I don't know. I'm asking you because you said it. So what did you mean? This is, this is how I talk. Okay, so what did you mean when you said that? You said something about was he wise hell or something. I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, you can't tie my friends into nobody, what nobody else got going on. Like, you, when you're speaking on games, you know what I mean? A gang is a game. That shit don't have nothing to do with nothing else. If you oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't okay. right. frustrated me up here. That's fine. So, what did you mean? I'm asking a very specific question. What did you mean when you said he claimed? MDC, what does that mean to claim it? I guess we got to Google it then. Mr. Copeland, she's not asking what does it mean objectively. She's asking what did you mean when you said it? I, I just said it, Yona. I don't know. Now, 
Now, earlier we talked about you meeting, you talking to Nut back in 2015. Do you recall ever meeting with Nut to give him back some items that were stolen from him? I don't recall. Okay. Do you recall, isn't it true that you told Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that prior to Nut passing away, that someone broke into his car and you ended up with the merchandise from his car being broken into? I recall telling you in the back room, somewhere in this court courthouse, that I lied, and I'm being truthful today by telling you that I made it up. So what I said to the investigators in the past, I, I came forward and told you that I was in the room by myself when I told you that. I don't have no reason to lie. Don't nobody intimidate me. I'm not trying to protect nobody, no nothing. But I'm not going to sit up here and, and tell the, a lie that I can't keep up with. Uh, that's just, just it. I don't know. Like, what you talking about? Okay. Did you, we're going to get to what you told me, but I'm going to ask you first. Did you tell back in 2015 that you met up with Nut because someone stole some of his items and you gave him those items? Back? I, I don't recall. Okay. Now, speaking about what you told me, do you recall telling me and my investigator Long that it was actually you who stole the items and then you returned it back to him? I pay too much. Okay. But do you recall telling myself and investigator along that you actually took those items, but you didn't return them? I did them tell you that. All right. <clears throat> but more importantly, that you actually met up with Nut. Do you recall telling the police that you met up with Nut to give him back those items that were stolen? I probably did. You probably did tell the police or you probably did meet up with him to return the items to him? I probably did tell that to the police. <clears throat> Do you have any independent memory today of you actually returning the items tonight? I did. You did return those I items? I did give him his stuff back. So that was something truthful that you told the police? That was. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if I told it to the police, but I told it to you. Isn't it true you also told Detective Gaith and Detective Dennis in January of 2015 um, that you called Nut and said, hey, man, I got your shit right here. Pull up on me. And he came and pulled up on me. And you gave him his stuff back. Take a little bit of lie and, and put it with it. Put, take a little bit of truth and put it with a lie. That's what I do. And also, <clears throat> during this same meeting that you met, not to give him back his stuff. You talked to him about the beef you were having with him and Kel. With you, with you and Kel. I apologize. Can you say that again? Sure. In this same meeting that you gave Nut back his stuff, you and Nut talked about the beef that you were having with Kel. So when I gave Nut his stuff back, I didn't like the way he looked at me. So we didn't have no conversation. He seen all the people I had with me. He got his stuff back, said appreciate it, and he left. So what I told investigators was, I don't know what I, I don't recall what I told them, but I remember giving him his stuff back and I didn't like the way that he looked at me. Okay. Did you remember telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that you and Nut had never had any beef and never had any issues? I don't recall. When you met with Nut, do you remember who you were with? I ain't telling you. Okay, so do you remember who you were with? There was a lot of people with me. Okay. Who were some of the people that were with you? I can't recall. All right. Well, you just told me that you weren't going to tell me, so... Because I can't... I, it, was, it was a lot of people with me. Okay. How many people did you have with you? More than five. Did not have anyone with him? I think so. Do you remember who that was? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know them by name, though. He had two or three people with him. 